Hey there, Warp Drive Tech fans. Warp Tech here with another mind-blowing episode that's sure to lift your spirits. Today we'll be diving into the fascinating world of acoustic levitation, exploring a concept we like to call the parabolic sonic thruster, or an acoustic lifter. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. All right, let's get to it. So what's the big deal with acoustic levitation? Well, it's a technique that uses sound waves to suspend an object in midair. How cool is that? And today, we'll be looking at a system that combines a resonant disc and a parabolic reflector to create an acoustic lifter capable of supporting its own weight against gravity. First up is the resonant disc made of 6061 aluminum and designed to resonate at a frequency of 3.49 kilohertz. This baby is going to amplify the acoustic energy generated by the transducer, increasing the overall sound pressure level and radiation pressure. Speaking of the transducer, we're using a piezoelectric transducer with an output of 85 dBA at 3.49 kHz. This little powerhouse is placed at the focal point of the parabolic reflector and directly below the resonant disc. Now let's talk about the parabolic reflector. This bad boy is designed to be 20% larger than the resonant disc, and its job is to take the sound waves generated by the transducer and focus them into a tight beam of sound energy directed vertically downward. When it comes to radiation pressure, we're looking at a gain of less than one since the sound waves are spread out by the parabola. This means the radiation pressure will be lower, but still enough to generate some impressive lifting power. With the radiation pressure in hand, we can calculate the force exerted by the system, which is directly related to the adjusted radiation pressure and the area of the resonant disc. Now we need to find the intensity of the sound waves at the focal point. This value will help us determine the force to power ratio, which is crucial for levitation. And here's the magic number, the force to power ratio. This value tells us how much force we can get per unit of power which is essential in determining the system's ability to levitate. Finally, we calculate the electrical power required for the system to support its own weight against gravity. In our numerical example, we found that the system would need approximately 283 watts of electrical power to achieve levitation. You might be wondering how this compares to the mysterious Graviflyer by Alexei Chekurkov. The Graviflyer relies on time-varying electromagnetic fields and RF signals, which can actually alter the speed of sound, making it more challenging to achieve acoustic resonance. Our sonic thruster, on the other hand, focuses on a more straightforward approach. When comparing the thrust-to-power ratio of our parabolic sonic thruster to that of a perfectly collimated photon rocket, our acoustic lifter proves to be an intriguing and potentially viable alternative propulsion method. We know that there is no evidence that electromagnetic fields or gravitational fields can act with a force greater than a photon rocket. Therefore, the primary lifting force for the Graviflyer must be due to radiated sound. The sound levels required for the sonic thruster to lift its own weight are equivalent to a jet engine. This explains perfectly why Alexei tests his Graviflyer far from civilization while wearing ear protection. So, there you have it. We've explored the amazing world of acoustic levitation and the potential of the sonic thruster or acoustic lifter. It's an exciting concept that could revolutionize the way we think about propulsion and lift. And while it's still theoretical, the possibilities are endless. Could this be how UAPs fly? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all for joining me on this thrilling journey into the world of acoustic levitation. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to Warp Drive Tech for more exciting content. Let us know in the comments what other amazing technologies you'd like us to explore. And remember, the future is here, and it's full of mind-blowing possibilities. Until next time, Warp Tech out.